Hey guys, this is Devin Adams again, a Fortnite trainer down here in Tempe, Arizona, and uh, this is my impromptu lab. So me and uh, my, my rubber duck here, 40 duck, quack, we're just throwing everything that we can in this lab just to do it. So, and uh, in the last one we did email notifications, but my Mr. Duck here um, noticed something that I was not aware of. So my domain controller, all right, so uh, says it's 2.30 at night or in the morning. All right, I promise you it's not that late, even though I always sound like it's that late, okay? And even on my, my local machine, it says it's 2.27 a.m. Guys, what time does the FortiGate say that it is, right? Let's go ahead and take a look here, because my log files were showing an offset. So, here we go. So I was getting the email notifications and I realized there was like a six, seven hour gap and I'm just like, oh, hex no. See the time there, guys? Yeah, it is not. It's not even the 30th yet. So uh, this happens. And you know what? If you're doing log files and if you do not have all your machines pointing to an NTP server, it can be pretty miserable. So thank you, 40 Duck, for being so rubbery. I, did, I have no idea what that means. But... We are going to point all of our devices to the FortiGate to act as an NTP server. So all of our events, all of our logs, all of our, our whatevers will be on the same time as the FortiGate. So are you guys ready to do this? Let's do it. Okay, so uh, we logged in. All right, so, and then we're going to go to system time. We're going to configure it in the system settings. And then right here is where you say, hey, respond to NTP requests. All right, so there we go. Listening on what interface? Oh, 40 duck was here. Did I not change that? 40 duck, you punk. All right, that should say LAN. I'm gonna change that next. And now NTP will respond on that interface, which just happens to be on the same subnet as our domain controller. So uh, before we do that, you 40 duck, I'm getting a little schizophrenic here, guys. All right, so here we go. Let's change that alias. And I did turn off uh, notifications, so hopefully I won't be seeing those anymore, too. So there we go. All right, that's a little bit better. So now, uh, because it's a domain controller, the domain controller is going to be responsible for passing the time across all the devices. So let's go to the DC. Here we go. Domain controller one. Let's log in and type in our credentials <laughs> there we are our last notification see the time off offset there jeez man that's just bad so uh you had to do this in powershell anyways all right so here we go so way easier by the way to point a domain controller to a uh to an NTP server before it's a domain controller. Anyways, also guys, remember wherever the interface is turned on, it will now accept NTP requests. You don't even need to write the firewall policy to it because uh, us setting it in the GUI like that essentially configured the local in firewall policy for us. So uh, let's try this out. So W32TM uh, config, uh, let's see here, manual, peer list and let's do a 10 10 1 2 5 4 right and then a sync from flags to manual all right there we go all right <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm getting this out of the sysadminlab.net. I cannot do PowerShell off the top of my head like that, guys. I am not that cool. So I'll make sure to drop that in the config. So, um, okay, let's try it. So stop. Computer. Nope, service, man. All right. W32 time. All right, there we go. And let's start it and see if it doesn't sync up with the FortiGate. All right, they say that should be it, but I don't really see it happening yet. Do you guys? I don't either. What if we do a resync? All right, there we go. So. Now, 
Okay? Bada boom, bada bing. Do you guys see it? It updated. Yay! So, and then uh, eventually when that populates out, right, because it's a domain controller, every device in our domain should eventually get that time. So, um, eventually. <laughs> so, and it will. I know for a fact it will. So, um, just easiest way was just to reboot it so but anyways guys uh, that is essentially it as you guys could see it accepted the request uh, for NTP and uh, we were able to sync our domain controller now with our FortiGates time and then as its devices log into the domain it'll get the time from the domain controller which got the time from the FortiGate so all the logs should match up all happy like so I'll make sure to put that um, if you guys want to do that on a domain control that really has nothing to do with the FortiGate but I'll put it up there uh, so anything that can do NTP that is how you do it so alright I hope someone found that helpful and yeah we'll go from there see you guys